Alrighty, y'all. How you going? We're looking at some awesome emergency vehicle uh, videos again here, this time with uh, some fire crew, fire emergency vehicles, fire trucks uh, in Australia. Now, these usually have to do in this video with like bushfires, okay? Uh, a lot of these are from a few years ago, so we know this was some crazy stuff going on. Shout out to all emergency vehicle crews and uh, fire crews, especially um, in places that have had really bad bushfires. So, yeah, shout out to people that have to deal with stuff like this, uh, you know, in the craziness of a job like that. Uh, definitely heroes but yeah this is from a channel called sydney emergency this will be linked in the description down below so you can watch this whole video uninterrupted and of course browse their channel and uh, this was suggested to me a while back um in the comment section from anthony burton so thank you for this video suggestion let's take a look Ooh, right away these are um first of all oh i hate bushfires wildfires they're just freaky uh, I really hadn't experienced many uh, until the last couple of years when, you know, of course, living in the Southwest, we saw them a lot down there. And uh, even in Illinois now this year, uh, we have seen uh, wildfire smoke from Canada all the way down here, totally making the appearance of everything really ominous and weird. And the sun looks weird. Yeah, it is uh, no fun. But uh, right away, we saw those emergency vehicles look pretty different than anything I've seen in any country and that's why this is exciting exploring new countries and their you know emergency crews you know Australia seems to always stand out because they just have such a unique variety uh, these are Isuzu units and I have not seen these in at least any of the videos I've watched thus far in this series. These are definitely different from U.S. trucks and uh, quite frankly different from most of the European nation trucks as well. Always uh, love the New South Wales police livery. Those are pretty cool actually. <laughs> but they are in, in response, rapid response as that uh, scary smoke dominates the uh, landscape there. Ooh, there's an unmarked unit. That was a BMW, I believe. Those are always fun too, seeing the unmarked units. Yeah, those are interesting trucks. They're actually kind of cool. Had to sneak through traffic there. Everyone luckily got to the side. Still a scary, uh, scary driving techniques. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, a U. I couldn't tell. I think it was a Ford, yeah? Cool liveries on these. Red with the uh, highlighter colors. Can't really go wrong with that. Boy. Ooh, a Rumbler Siren. Our... Actually, those probably have a couple different names. Aren't those called like Rumbler Siren? Now I'm doubting myself. I think they are, or something along the lines of that. But uh, yeah, interesting siren there on that BMW. These vehicles, they're hauling ass. <laughs> they are really uh, going at a high rate of speed. So you know there's some real um, emergencies happening, right? That's the whole point. Sometimes you see these go by in a much slower response. This one is definitely a, a full-on you know, code three response. Look at that one, he is going fast. You can hear the mass, right? The velocity. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at that. That's a cool unit. I believe that was like a Land Cruiser or a Nissan Patrol, I couldn't tell. Just craziness though, all the uh, personnel everywhere. Is it? A Zuzu or a Suzu? It's a Suzu, isn't it? I kind of get lazy and say two Zs. That almost looked like it could have been a Scania. Can't read it. It's a. Uh, Clean looking truck, cool unit there. Something city commander. Uh, look at these, these are the exact same 
or they appear to be the exact same um, fire risk, uh, like warning signs that we have uh, in the U.S. as well, uh, where it shows the fire danger today. Um, and then, yeah, this is what you see. You see these weird, like orange, red, kind of apocalypse looking skies. And then the sun, instead of looking like a golden white, looks like a really freaky red uh, color. That is a wildfire or a bushfire sky for sure. Wow. Even a shot of a uh, low plane there. Pretty cool. Ooh, that's a... Uh... Ooh, you saw that? Um, vehicle in the back? Wow. Lots of interesting... Lots of interesting stuff in this one. This is a great video. Two different utes here. Look at this Land Cruiser. That's really cool. Small truck that can get in tight places, I suppose. Pretty cool to see, though, huh? Had to make way for the big boy there. I love these these trucks, though. These are cool. Good array of stuff. Wow, that is just freaky. Freaky, freaky stuff. And there's a police unit as well. That is a Toyota. Now, this is like... This is more of the style of the Toyota Land Cruiser we do have, or at least used to have at one time. No, I think we still do have these in the U.S., this style. It's like a little bigger. It, it, at least this looks similar. This might not be the exact one we have, but it's similar to this. Now, that classic retro-looking one like we just saw in the last scene, those are the ones that I really love. I feel like they're super simple and durable, uh, and I love, like, the retro look of them. Uh, we definitely don't get those. But this, uh, we do get a vehicle similar to this that we have called the Land Cruiser, although it's quite different than a lot of the foreign ones I see. Uh, but for some reason... These are just not popular here. Even though they may be sold here, you just, I, I never, honestly, I never see them on the road. I see like literally a few of these a year. Like you just don't see them on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know why they don't sell here. I mean, we love SUVs in the US. We love uh, trucks and we love off-road vehicles. I don't know why this, you know, doesn't have more of a presence, but it doesn't. I know they're expensive, but so is everything else here. But you know what? That We're going to cut it there. That's going to do it for this one. That was a really interesting video uh, jam-packed there in a few minutes full of a lot of vehicles I really haven't seen before. And then we even got uh, some nice shots of like some undercover police vehicles, uh, some other uh, random police assistant vehicles, and of course the fire trucks were awesome. Those Isuzu units were uh, really kind of cool. I actually like those. Different, uh, Much different from a lot of... Uh, the different countries we have featured on this series. So that was exciting. And I'm pretty sure we saw a couple Scania's in there too. So Australia always coming in with some awesome variety. Uh, you really got to love it. So yeah, throw a like on there if you did enjoy that one. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here. This was such an excellent suggestion. So please keep those up. I do appreciate it. Lots more fun to come, y'all. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, catch you later.